I'm here with <laughs> the, uh, he's the boss, he's the man, Yara Muriager. Buddy, I just want to say I've been following your career since you started and uh, big fan. And How old I, are you? I'm 51. Oh, we are same Yeah, age, so yeah. Okay, no, so. I've been, I've been uh, following you since the beginning of time, man. So welcome to the National. What do you think of all this? A lot of people, I didn't expect that. Uh, I got a signing tomorrow, so I'm introducing my uh, new business, the banknotes. You know, it's like uh, people don't see it. It's a special things. Nobody can make it. So I want to say we did it. Van Gretzky is the number one. We got to look at it, people. This is the currency, right? That's, a, that's, that's like a currency. It's exactly the currency. It's beautiful. Van Gretzky on it. It's beautiful. Nice. So what do you think? Of, signing, so. What do you think about the sports card world? And what do you think about like? Do you like autographing cards? What do you do? You enjoy sports cards? Do you have any? Do you ever look to buy any of any players you were a fan of or your own? No, uh, I was my fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, you know what? The signing, I don't, I don't like it much. And uh, sometimes the people can be annoying after the game, and because you know they're selling it. They're getting it, you know. Yeah. It's kind of different when they're fans and they're kids, and you want to sign it. But if you see every day same people over and over for 25 years, uh, it's, it's you know what they're doing. Yeah, and then you know it's not nice. But on the other side, I understand that you know it's a, it's a huge business. People want to invest it. You know they like it. They're collecting. What about when you sign for Upper Deck and card companies? And do you ever look at the cards and think that's a beautiful card? Well, it's, you know that's. Of course, it's a lot better cards than they were 25 years ago. Oh yeah, you know, I know it's just all the technologies go forward, and you can see it. Everything is changing. The whole world is changing. So, you know, every day somebody else coming with the new stuff. So. What do you think about where hockey's at right now? I'm a big hockey fan my whole life. I'm from Winnipeg. I was a Jets fan. I've seen you play several times. What? How do you like hockey? Who's your some of your favorite young players right now? Well, I, you know what? Uh, to be honest, uh, when I moved for like five years ago, I, when I re- you know, finished the last game I was playing in Calgary. I finished my last game, so I moved to Europe. I played in Europe, so the time difference is tough to watch hockey. You know, you know, it's starting one o'clock at night, like in the morning at one a.m. So, you know, I don't see many games. I was watching some playoff games. Uh, you know, there's a lot of the, the game has changed. You know, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, I'm not uh, because I feel like it's a little bit easier. It's uh, it's more about skating speed, but there's no physical stuff. It, you know, it's tough to stop guys one on one, and you just checking with the sticks. It's not the it's not the same. Like I'm used to it. I don't mind to play. You know, and never try to hit guys, but I don't mind the people hitting me because I, all I was practicing to get. I, I want to be the, the strongest. I don't want to be the fastest. I want to be the strongest player on the ice. So I, I always work to be the, the strongest and. Uh, you know the game is it, it's different uh, i have to be honest it's different yeah. you know and uh but you ask me about a favorite player of course uh, uh, connor mcbaby when you watch it it's uh you like watching connor uh, uh i love when i watch the game i i, I don't want him to to, to 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 sit on a bench you know i want him to be the 60 minutes because every time he get a puck you know it's just i feel like it's impossible to, to stop him for a reason because there is no physical place the rules it's advantage for the for the skilled players and right. fast players and he's even faster than anybody else so it's impossible to to, to, to stop him and you know when you when you watch him all the moves and stuff like that it's you know it's incredible to watch uh, McKinnon you know I love to watch him you know I gotta give a credit Crosby you know he did it for a long time he still does it which kid you know I, I like those guys who sign contract long-term contract and they're good first year and the last year yeah you know I love those guys I love them when they want to be the best all the time that's you know not not, not many players like that right, a right. lot of them yeah last question armor yeah uh, Connor Bedard what do you think do you think he's gonna live up to the expectation do you think he's uh, is he gonna be the next generational player similar to what we see with Connor McDavid uh, I don't know I, I never you know I didn't never saw him play uh, oh, fair enough yeah I never saw him play you know I heard about him you know he's got 
good numbers, but uh, you know, if you haven't seen him play, it's tough exactly, to say. Exactly, it's tough to say. You know, it's right. just tough to say. But it, you know, those rules, the speed, you know, it's advantage for those for those players. Better for smaller guys uh, yeah, too, that's right? What it is, you know. All right, man. Hey, thanks for All taking right, time no with problem. me.